Okay, so the next method here for the acefastaining, we have here the quinones. Okay, the quinone method, or this is a cold method of your acefastaining reaction. So basically, this one, since this one do not use us, do not use here the heat or heating process, and therefore, ang ating staining time is much longer compared with your uh, Sil Nielsen. So longer staining time would allow your stain to be taken up by your cell. So since hindi tayo nag heat to facilitate here the, the stain uptake as with the Sil Nielsen. So, your quinone is uh, basically applicable here for staining of our tissues for identification of our acid fast bacilli, which has infected your different tissues in your body. Okay, we have here the procedure for your quinone. So, prepare your sputum okay, and smear, sputum smear. Okay, then try to dry and then try to heat fix. Okay, then try to flood here with a quinion carbol fusin for 5 minutes. So, medyo matagal siya. Okay, at room temperature. So, again, we are not heating that one. And after that 5 minutes uh, uh, incub incubation here, so try to rinse with uh, the ionized water to remove here your carbol fusin. Okay, and then you can tilt your slide to drain the water. And after that one, try to decolorize with your acid alcohol here. Applica, apply, applying here the acid alcohol in your slide. So, parang ganun ulit. Dititilt mo siya. Magpa-flow lang siya dito sa taas. And it would allow the removal here of your carbon fusine. Para complete removal for the colorization process. That's for the 3 minutes. And after that one, you rinse again here with your deionized water. Then, re-decolorize. Apply again your acid alcohol. Okay, for 1 to 2 minutes. And after that one, rinse again with your, and after that one, you try to proceed here with your flooding with your methylene blue, your counter stain for 4 minutes. Then after that one, rinse with the water, air dry, and try to examine under the OIO. Okay, another method here for the acid staining, we have here your fluorescent method. Okay, the fluorescent method would yield here a higher positive results. So, medyo sensitive ito compare with your Silnilsen and your uh, Kinyon method. Okay, so acid-fast bacilli appears to be refractile, yellow or yellow-green, very bright kasi this is a fluorescent staining. So, method for that, we have your Druant method with the use of your Oramine Rhodamine stain and could also have here your fluorescent isothiocyanate. This is your fluorescent stain. Then we have your counter stain, we have your, I mean your decolorizer, we have your acid alcohol, 0.5% hydrochloric acid, 7% ethanol. Then you're also adding here your potassium permanganate. So, ganun lang din siya. Identifying here as your yellow, yellow green, acid fast bacilli versus here your non acid fast, which is not your yellow color. Then we have also here the partial acid fast, so in the case of your nocardia. Nocardia would have also here a uh, thick mycolic acid. So only that one would have shorter in the chain of your mycolic acid. Especially acid fast because again, it makes use of acid um, decolorizer which is not a strong acid, which is not an acid alcohol but a weak acid. This is 0.51% na sulfuric acid. Okay, ano ibig sabihin nito? Pag again, ganoon pa din, ang ating uh, primary stain is your carbol fusin. Only that the acid alcohol natin yung gamit is your weak acid, 0.5 to 1% of your acid. Pag ito ginamit mo, kung yan, kung yan ay nukarge siya, okay, they would not be decolorized. Okay, then you add your methylene blue as your color stain, so still uh, red pa rin color nito. Pero, for example here, kung ginamit mo na acid alcohol is your, ginamit mo na decolorizer is your acid alcohol, just in a case of your silver scent, or kinyon, tapos no karja, ang organism natin ma-decolorize ang ating karja. Pag na-decolorize siya, ano mangyari? Magiging acid, magiging non-acid pas siya. You understand? Pag no karja, gumagamit tayo ng decolorizer na weak acid. Kung ito na gamit mo na decolorizer, which is a weak acid, ang no karja natin, hindi siya ma-decolorize. Okay, and therefore, it will retain here the, the color of your primary stain. This is your carbon fusin, so magiging red ang color na ng kardya. Kung ito ang acid alcohol natin. 
Ako yung anti-colorizer natin, I mean. Pero pag ang ginamit mo na anti-colorizer is the acid alcohol that's been utilized by the Silnil Sense sa Kinyon Method, ma-decolorize ano kaya siya. Pag ma-decolorize ano kaya siya, ano mangyari? Magiging non-acid pa. Siya magiging blue ang color natin. And therefore, kaya pag nagsinususpect mo ano kaya siya, ang presence of specimen ng patient natin, so dapat yung acid. So, pure acid, 0.5 to 1% ang ating um, decolorizer in that your acid alcohol. Kasi magiging pag uh, usual na acid pastin yung ginamit mo, like in a case of your silnils and kinions, magiging negative ang result mo. That's false negative. Okay, so that's all with our acid pastin reaction.